Hey. Okay. When are we gonna charge into Futaba's room? There's no point thinking it over now. Well, I got the calling card, so let me know when you decide. This is different from past cases. We'll be handing the calling card directly to Futaba herself. Once we give it to her, we'll head straight into her palace. There won't be any time for prep work in between. So make sure you're ready beforehand. Are you sure we're ready to go? Once Futaba sees the calling card, we'll need to head straight into her palace. Is that okay? Oh, so you're set on doing this? Looks like it's my turn to unlock the entrance. Forgive me, Chief. How will we convince Futaba to let us into her room, though? Even bosses forbidden entry. Yes. That is the best course of action. You know a method? I think it's quite straightforward. Futaba doesn't know what we're doing inside her palace, correct? Hence, if we tell her we've come to steal her heart, she'll surely open the door and let us inside. Wait, that's it? Futaba wants to have a change of heart. After all, she contacted us for that express purpose. That desire should lead her to open the door as well. You're right. Our feelings should get through if we just try and talk to her. All right, I believe in Futaba. Come on, let's get this done. An eyeball? What's this? Huh. When did it get on here? Whoa, whoa! Huh, who are you? I am the other you. Is this some kind of hallucination? It's different from usual. How long will you continue blaming yourself and shutting yourself away from the world? Blaming myself for what? For your mother's death. Don't you think it's time you grasp the truth of that moment? What happened before your eyes? What happened to your mother? The truth... Why did you choose to rely on the Phantom Thieves? That's... Are you simply going to shut yourself in and do nothing? Are you going to avert your eyes from the true answer? <sighs> if so, I will kill them in your world. I... What should I do? We're sorry for sneaking in so many times, boss. There's no mistaking it. This is the same door as in the palace. Hello, Futaba. You're there, aren't you? Please, answer us. I doubt she'd answer. Alibaba, we know you're there. It doesn't matter if it's through chat messaging, just answer us. In order to steal your heart, we need you to open this door. We can't change your heart otherwise. Please let us in. The other you within your heart told us to have you open it. Deep down, you want to open this door, don't you? Right. We're trying to uphold our promise, but you're the one resisting us. Ten seconds. Fine, but if boss comes home, we'll kick down the door and enter if we must. Time's up, Alibaba. We need to change her cognition. Better to be completely safe than sorry. So she has to be the one to invite us in. Futaba, please open the door. All right, let's go in. What is this? Medical science. Information technology, biology, psychology... We, these are all technical books. She keeps herself cooped up in a room like this all the time? Where's Futaba? Where could she be hiding? The closet? She'll shut herself in to the bitter end, hmm? 
Even if that door is opened up, we'll get stopped again inside. I bet a fence or something formed right in front of the treasure now. This, this, this makes no sense. Explain yourself. Whoa, she talked. We needed to change your cognition. Unless we do so, we can't steal your heart. I highly doubt she would understand it, even if we explained it to her. So basically, my cognition is being a hindrance, keeping you away from the core of my cognitive world? Huh? She understood it? Well, why do you know about that? Who are you? <sighs> Why'd you call yourself Alibaba and make things more complicated? If you wanted help, you could have just asked for it. Because I was embarrassed. Huh? Oh, m my bad. I, I didn't catch that. Because <sighs> I was embarrassed. I think I get it. Asking someone for help isn't that easy. Futaba, can you tell us more? How do you know about the cognitive world? Because I knew about it. Oh, that reminds me. Boss was talking about cognition or something before, right? You think this is related to how he was getting grilled by that one lady? Perhaps her mother was researching this cognitive science that was mentioned? Cognitive science with a PSI in front? Less science, more supernatural? That's important. Well, that certainly got her attention. It seems we're on the right track. So... Cognitive... science? Futaba, what was your mother working on? Please tell us. What happened? She's not answering. Yo, maybe save this for later? Seems she's been through some serious shit, so... you know. True. She did say things like... die. Hold on. Futaba-chan, did you really kill your mother? Whoa, you moron! Wasn't her death an accident? What actually happened? Maternity neurosis? Is that really true? On. We saw what your heart is like, but we still can't figure anything out. The mother that Boss told us about is completely different from your cognition. <sighs> We want to hear the truth from your mouth. My, my mom was... The one who killed her was... Uh... It's possible that she can't remember because her heart has become distorted. I'm so sorry, Futaba-chan. It's just that... I went through a lot myself, and I... I'm sorry. Steal it! What's gotten into you all of a sudden? C come on! Hurry it up! We did come to steal your heart, but it it's not really done right here at this moment. All you really had to do was open that closet door. I'm sorry we made you jump to conclusions. You don't have to be like that. I see. She went back in! What's the meaning of this? D did you guys trick me? No, please listen. There's a reason we had to do this. She's aware of the cognitive world, but it seems she doesn't understand how a change of heart occurs. Um, Futaba, how much do you know about the cognitive world? I know that there's another world based on cognition, but I don't know how to get there. Can you guys go there? You said you saw my heart earlier. Yes, that's right. How do you do it? We use a smartphone app. An app? Yes. By entering the required information, we can go to the cognitive world. A name, a place, and a distortion. Those three. So in this case, Futaba Sakura, Sojiro Sakura's house, and... Futaba? You don't happen to have this app, do you? Uh, I don't. Thank goodness. Okay, then. Can you take me with you, too? Eh, I gotta agree. Just leave this to us. I'll leave it to you, then. Good. And you better not forget about our promise, alright? 
Oh, yeah, almost forgot. The treasure's not gonna appear if we don't ever read this. Hmm? A calling card? It's the one you prepared. Read it. I can't read it. It's too dark. You could just come out. It's embarrassing. What? I'll make sure she reads it, so you guys go on ahead. Futaba, make sure you read it, okay? Okay. Let's see. Futaba Sakura has committed a great sin of drowning in sloth. Thus, we will rob every last bit of those distorted desires. <sighs> No, I'm going to die. Good. Ah! Kitty, you again? If I use this, I can change my heart? Vocal input. Fu... Fu... Futaba Sakura? Sojiro Sakura's house. And then... Something about distortion. 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 Hmm? Not again! You killed her! You're a plague! Murderer! It's all your fault! You're the one who killed her! Don't come near me! Your fault! Murderer! No! <sighs> That's right. I remember now. Back when they were here, I... I messaged Doom in the chat, and... Input accepted. Searching for route to destination. I can go in now? No! You're a murderer! Murder. You're the one who killed her! It's your fault! Don't come near me! It's your fault! I can't take this anymore! Beginning navigation. Hell... This ain't what I was imagining. Were you expecting a mountain of treasure or something of that sort? There is that over there. That's it? The treasure must be inside. All right, let's take it. Be careful. T treasure There's something here. I got a bad feeling about this. Is 
it a shadow? Then no! Then... It's not Futaba. Don't tell me. This is insane! If it's not a shadow, then what is it? It's a cognition! A monster that Futaba's cognition created! How can that be? Hey, look out! <laughs> Here it comes! Do not approach the Pharaoh's tomb! Misfortune will fall upon you! Oh, look at it fly about! We can't reach it like this! We've got no other option. Let's take it down with our guns and skills! It's gonna attack. You can't tell? That's not helping. You have to tell us, Mona. I can't help it. There are some things that even I can't do. So this is inside my heart. I didn't think it'd be like this. This is the suicide note. The men in black suits read it right after mom died. That's correct. Look at the next one. This... this is... When mom jumped in front of that car. That's right. Now the next. No. Don't run. I thought you made your mind up after you talked to the Phantom Thieves. Okay. Oh, look. It's me complaining. Mom scolded me for bothering her. Yes. I knew it. It was me who killed Mom. I was a bad daughter. I weighed her down and she hated me for it. It's just like I remember. Are you sure? Huh? Remember everything. Don't avert your eyes. When did this happen? Just a little before Mom died, I whined about wanting to go on a family trip, but she scolded me and said no. Was that all she said? Mom said, I'm too busy right now. I need to finish my cognitive research as soon as possible. And what, what did, did you do? I threw a tantrum. Told her she thought her research was more important than I was. That's when she scolded me. What did she say afterwards? There was more. Uh... 
did she say? My research is almost over. Once it's finished, we can go wherever you like. I'm sorry I've left you alone for so long, Futaba. Please try to understand, though. This research is really important. I need to complete it. Even if it costs me my life. Did she hate you? She didn't? But what? She smiled. Ah! My head! It hurts! Which is true! Your are no Huh? It's calling me? The hell? We ain't doing shit to it! Huh? Futaba? You came into your cognitive world? Mm-hmm. The person themselves coming into their own palace? If that happens... That's... You killed her! No! Why don't you say something? It's your fault! It's my fault. It's my fault that Mom... Wait, is that monster her mother? Futaba's desires and guilt must have distorted her cognition of her. The wish that her mother was alive again is mixed in as well. Along with those eerie jeers. You are nothing but a demon who stood in my way. I wish you had never been born. That way I could have announced my results without having to waste my time. She be talking about cognitive science? You're going to die! There is no meaning to your life! No one needs you! Nobody cares about me. I should never have had Futaba. She was always such a bother. It seems you caused your mother a great deal of trouble, Futaba-chan. She must have had some kind of maternity neurosis. Hey, we're gonna be in deep shit if this keeps up! So, because she thinks she killed her mother, and because she thinks she deserves to die, Futaba gave birth to a palace where her mother wants her dead? Futaba-chan, look! There's no way that monster is your mother! It's just an illusion you created! B but She never abused you, did she? Boss told us! He said she did her best to raise you alone! Isn't this a false memory that's been imprinted upon you? A false memory? Ugh! You made your mother destroy all her research, Futaba-chan. She had worked so hard on this well. She lost her mind, and it's all because of you. It's your fault! Mom! I... I... It's her shadow! Futaba Sakura, remember! You're the reason she committed suicide. You were just getting in the way of her research. Why did you think it was suicide? Because of the note. Exactly. The men in black suits read her suicide note to you. And what was written on it? All of her complaints about me. Yes. The shock and the pain led you to avert your eyes. 
but they kept reading it aloud in front of your relatives. Think hard. Was that suicide note real? Would the mother you loved so much truly have written that? Did she ever say such horrible things to you? No! She scolded me whenever I had tantrums, but she cared for me! Then what about the suicide note? A total lie! You were used. They forged her suicide note and laid the blame of her death upon you. They trampled all over your young heart! Get mad! Don't forgive those rotten adults! It's because I couldn't face myself. Poor Mom's death. Even then... Why did they have to yell at me like that? Uh, Utabachan? Uh! What denies you is an illusion. A curse put upon you by the Heartless. You knew from the very beginning. And yet, you cowered in fear. Oh, that's right. I knew... But I... It's all your fault! This time you'll be the one to die! Will you die as you were told? Who will you obey? Cursed words spat out by a seething illusion? Or the truth within your own soul? It's your fault! I won't let those distorted lies deceive me anymore. And I won't be led astray by others' voices either. I'm going to trust my own eyes and my own heart to distinguish the truth from the lies. There's no way you're my mom! You're just a fake created by those horrid adults! I'll... I'll never... I'll never forgive them! Let's bring that thing down. I'll shoot it. I can shoot it down. You want? Yep. Run toward the ballista! Persona! 
Persona! I wish for her to be with me, it'll never come true. That's why I'll live in the real world. Even if she's not there with me anymore. And I'm gonna live my life as free and happy as I can. For a child to survive on your cruel world, they need a concerned mother figure like me. My mom is so precious to me, and I still love her a ton, but you're not her! And I'll never live a life where everything gets decided by someone else! Lucky children who decide ever should be punished! No, you're not! That's it! <laughs> Keep 
keep up. I appreciate it. You're easy. Protect my knockout. Persona! Out of our way! Persona! Ravage them!
Persona! Go down! Persona! You want me to fire it? You want smart Run toward the ballista! It's time. to me.
level up. My persona learned a new skill. <laughs> Futaba! Damn, you're freaking incredible! Whoa, what in the world? Ooh, it's totally skin tight! Another thing showed up? Mom? Huh? Futaba. Thank you for choosing to remember the real me. I'm sorry for being so selfish, Mom. Don't come over here. This isn't where you're supposed to be, is it? But I finally got to see you again. Are you being selfish again? Um, I... I love you, Mom. I love you too, Futaba. Now, you should get going. Right, Majed. Where are you going? Home. I know how to use the nav now. Huh. Oh, right. She left. That girl marches to the beat of her own drum, doesn't she? Like you're one to talk. But if we have her on our side... Wait, what about her treasure? Oh yeah, we almost forgot. It's empty? <laughs> What's going on? Wasn't it supposed to be here? Futaba herself was the treasure. And she's gone, so of course it's empty. Shoot. This is bad. What's the matter? Not only did the real person come into her own palace, she awakened to a persona while she was here. This place could collapse any second now. We've accomplished our mission if her palace is crumbling. We should hurry back to reality. That would be wise. You guys still alive? I thought I was gonna die and... Uh, hey! Will you let go already? <laughs> <gasps> Sorry! Not again. What was that sound? Hmm? What, what are you guys doing out here? Oh, um... That reminds me, where's Futaba? What about Futaba? Oh, um... Yes! We came all this way, so how about we enjoy some coffee? Oh, that's a great idea! That's fine, but... I'm not thirsty, though. <clears throat> oh, I almost forgot. I have some business to take care of, so you guys go on ahead. Uh, okay, gotcha. Let's go see Futaba. Futaba? Can you hear me? Please say something! Please! Could this be our fault? Is it because we defeated her monstrous mother? No. That was nothing more than a cognitive being created in her mind. 
Destroying it wouldn't cause memory loss or put a physical burden on her. What should we do? Hey, don't you know a doctor? You do. Can you contact them? A house call is gonna cost you, you know. How much will it be? That was a joke. So, um, how is her condition? Her pulse, breathing, temperature, and blood pressure are all normal. No ocular abnormalities either. I'm not sure why, but it seems this girl is in some kind of light stupor. Furthermore, she lacks muscle for her age. I doubt she has much stamina either. I see. The rebound from her awakening was too strong. There may have been too many abnormal circumstances. We simply cannot keep quiet about this. We should let Boss know. Wouldn't he figure out our identities? Still, we should tell him, shouldn't we? Mm, I think that would be best. Letting him know is really the only option we have. I guess it can't be helped now. Just keep the circumstances that led up to this a secret, okay? Hey, Futaba? Hey! Mm. Uh. Oh dear. Uh. Um, about Futaba. Hmm? Well, why do you guys look so down? Futaba-chan's condition. What, this? It happens every so often. Huh? She must have used up all her energy. It's like she ran out of batteries. I think it happens because she doesn't get enough exercise. What? She stays like this for a few days whenever this happens. I'll make sure she gets plenty of rest. Here, keep an eye on her. I'm gonna go close the store. It's hard to describe how I feel right now. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty frustrated. I'm glad she's okay. But what are we gonna do about Medjed? Uh, she's up! Medjed. Tired. Gonna sleep for a bit. She fell asleep again? Utama chan For a bit? How much is she planning on sleeping? We probably shouldn't wake her up, either. What to do? too late for us to find another hacker. All we can do is wait for her to wake up. Let's go to bed.